Peppermint essential oil uses Peppermint is a hybrid mint that's a cross between spearmint and watermint and is a must-have for every home. The main chemical components of peppermint oil are menthol and menthone. Records of the use of mint plants for medicinal purposes go all the way back to the times of ancient Egypt, Greece, and Rome. Peppermint oil can be found in a variety of forms from essential oil, which is a very concentrated form that can be used for aromatherapy or diluted and applied to the skin, to extracts, a more diluted form that can be used to add peppermint flavor to foods, and capsules, which can be taken as dietary supplements. Peppermint can be found in, toothpaste to candy with a wide range of benefits. Peppermint can replace many over-the-counter products and cleaners. Peppermint can be used to invigorate the senses, ease breathing, for stomach problems, repel insects and much more. Peppermint oil is generally safe, but it can be toxic when taken in very large doses. Additionally, you should always dilute peppermint essential oil before use. If you have any concerns or questions about using peppermint oil, you should speak to your doctor before using it. Hunger. If inhaled during meal time, it can make you feel fuller faster. IBS Peppermint oil may reduce or relieve symptoms from IBS usually in the form of capsules. Some of the most extensive research into the benefits of peppermint oil has focused on IBS. IBS is a chronic gastrointestinal condition that can involve abdominal pain, diarrhea, and constipation. Researchers found that treatment with peppermint oil improved abdominal pain and other symptoms of IBS. Peppermint oil or menthol, one of its main chemical components, has been used in combination with caraway to treat functional dyspepsia as well. Stress. Like many other essential oils, peppermint is able to provide relief from stress, depression and mental exhaustion due to its refreshing nature. It is also effective against feeling anxious and restless. Insects. Insects especially spiders hate peppermint, place cotton balls around house with peppermint oil on them. Insect bites, use a combination of peppermint essential oil and lavender essential oil to quickly dismiss the itch. Dilute with a carrier oil if you are sensitive to straight essential oil on your skin. Nausea. Nausea can often occur after an operation. Patients have rated their level of nausea as lower after inhaling peppermint oil. Pain. Wintergreen oil and menthol have been used to treat pain from tension headaches, migraine headaches, and other pain. When applied to the forehead and temples, patients have a longer duration of pain relief and less nausea and light sensitivity. In tablet form, peppermint oil relieved discomfort for people who have trouble swallowing. Naturally clean. Peppermint oil is full of antibacterial properties and a pleasant scent, used to freshen your house naturally. For skin and hair. Peppermint oil may help soothe itchy skin and may have the ability to stimulate hair growth in humans. Peppermint oil is often used in cosmetic products. It has been found that a 1% solution of peppermint oil will lead to improvements in how long itchiness lasts and the severity of an itch. As a pick-me-up. Peppermint oil powerfully affects and improves mental clarity and raises energy levels. Inhale or diffuse peppermint oil for an instant energy boost. Bacteria and yeast. Peppermint oil may work against some bacteria, but research is mixed. It's shown mild antifungal properties against certain strains of candida. Open your airways. Menthol provides effective relief from many respiratory problems including nasal congestion, sinusitis, asthma, bronchitis and the common cold and cough. It is often included as an ingredient in natural chest rubs to help with congestion. Rub peppermint oil diluted in a carrier oil onto the chest to ease breathing difficulties. Sore muscles. Because peppermint oil has analgesic, anti-inflammatory and anti-spasmodic properties, it not only can relieve pain and inflammation but can also calm the spasms that cause muscle cramps. Who shouldn't use peppermint oil? 
People who should avoid using peppermint oil include people with G6PD deficiency, people with a specific enzyme deficiency, called G6PD deficiency, should avoid using peppermint as an extract or an oil in aromatherapy, people taking certain medications. Peppermint oil aromatherapy can inhibit an enzyme called CYP3A4, which is responsible for breaking down many different types of medication. If you're taking any prescription medications, talk to your doctor before using peppermint oil. Children and babies. You should avoid applying peppermint oil to the faces or chests of babies and young children. Side effects can occur from inhaling the menthol present in peppermint oil. Please be aware, if taken in very large doses, peppermint oil can be toxic. Peppermint aromatherapy can also be toxic to pets such as dogs and cats.